up, guys? CP the Two Attic. Woo! Oh, man. I'm just sitting outside. I wish you guys were right here next to me. It is a beautiful, beautiful night here in central Iowa. I am absolutely enjoying the evening on my back patio, sitting in the chair. And I thought, you know what? I'll do this Cornwall Flyer. This is like the most relaxing place to do it. I wish I could share the view with you. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's really not that good for video honestly in the dark but uh it's about 65 degrees out absolutely perfect so anyways enough making you guys jealous i'm sure you've probably got great weather where you're at too but anyways we're gonna start this off and i'm gonna let you know right off the bat there's no usa made cornwell tools i want you to leave the comment down in the comment box hashtag cornwell needs to bring back more usa tools in the flyer or let's let's make it let's make a hashtag cornwell usa hashtag cornwell usa let these guys know that we want to see some USA-made Cornwall stuff back in the flyer. But let's jump into this because we've got a lot to talk about. We've got a huge extension set, set, the magnetic ones. I'm not a big fan of these, guys. They, I just don't like them. Not a big fan of them. $214.95. Uh, honestly, I think the nut grip sockets are the best way to go. But if you want to get that set and try them out, that's not a bad gig. Um, we got a blower fan, $239.99 big old hatchet the no go three thousand i mean noco sorry uh gb 150 374.95 we got a bogo right here 119.95 i really like these new handles 119.95 and you're gonna get the torx tamper proof screwdriver set and then they're also gonna add in okay wait a second here so choose between blue or green handled sets and you're gonna get the nine piece torx screwdriver set with free tamper proof screwdriver set so that's pretty cool. I really do enjoy those. We got a new torque wrench. They have a new half inch drive flex head. Fix no, they've got a half inch drive fixed head torque wrench for three twenty four, but they have the new digital quarter inch for four forty nine. That's kind of interesting. It looks kinda of neat. I kinda of would like to see that in person. That's uh and that's not a bad price. That's one of the better ones. Oh my god, guys, I love the wedge. Uh, the Streamlight Wedge is a great light. I will tell you that I'm a little bit pissed off on mine. Uh, so it has 3,000 and then it has a burst of 1,000. And everybody that I show that light to absolutely loves it. It's rugged. I actually drove it over with my truck. And I've been beating the garbage out of mine. But the clip, the pocket clip, is not durable at all. I broke mine already and I've asked, I'm, I'm asked my Maco guy to warranty it out. Or get me a new one. I don't care. But uh, if I break another one, that's one of the things I'm going to be having a problem with. AC machines, guys. Uh, hot item to get. And these are actually a pretty decent price for 134 And I will tell you, there's some things you need to look into uh, if you're going to buy an AC machine. Because some of these AC machines do not do hybrid. I had I ran into an issue with that um with a hybrid car um but they you, you have to pay a little bit more money and i believe this fully automatic 134 here that one does the uh, robin air 34 788 ni i believe that does uh hybrid it doesn't talk about it in here let's see if it says it over here to your warranty fully vacuum lead oil injection optional it doesn't say it in here but i think that one right there for 49.95 is why it's more money is because it does hybrid Semi-automatic, 134 is obviously not a bad deal if you're just wanting a 134 machine. And obviously have your 1234YF recovery uh, identifier, 7295, which dual machines are not much more money. So you might as well go dual if you're looking to get a, both of them. Uh, we got some torch bits here, some triple squares, 6095, magnetic flexible mat, 3495. We got the ratcheting chain wrench. Those are always nice to have. Um... For in a pinch, we've got a new auto grip V group V group pliers. Those are pretty interesting. 1995, 28, 95, 44, 95. Um, we got a 40 piece tap and die set, new, 112.95. Looks like it's a bigger one. Yeah, goes up from uh, got your uh, 1024s all the way. So it's a uh, one inch. Uh, let's see if it says sizes here for quick reference. 18 leaf but it looks like it's definitely the bigger set for 112 not a bad deal we've got the work sharps i love work sharp stuff guys 107.95 that's the great stuff we got some tie-dye throwing stars 1890 cornwell come on 
You can't put USA tools in here, but you're putting tie dye and ninja stars in there. Uh, we got the spec small pocket die cleaver from CRKT. Those things are really cool. <laughs> Another hatchet. They always got some weird stuff in here. We've got an IP54 dial indicator with magnetic base. Definitely a tool you want to have. It's one of those things when you need it, you need it. We've got some air tools. We won't go over them too much. Air hammers are definitely nice. Um, $2.99, decent price for them. You can get them with the bits. Uh, oh, they got the extended ratchet right there. $2.12. I'm guessing that's the same as the uh, Air Cat. That's why it's called a Cat 380XL. Uh, that's pretty sweet. The mini ones. I love those mini ratchets. Some more air tools, polisher kits, the flexible cutoff cut -off tool. You can't beat those. Those are always nice to have. They're really handy, especially if you do a lot of fabricating. Blow guns. Once again, these look like the vacuum ones. Uh, $24.95, $24.95, $29.95, $29.95, and the long ones. Nice to have those, especially if you already have the tips. That's a decent price. Lights. We've got some flexible lights. Workstar, rechargeables. Key programming diagnostics. I have that one. Obviously, the IM508 is an awesome tool to have, especially if you're looking to save a little coin and you do key programming. All tell stuff. TPMS. That's a great tool for $829. Um, we got the Turbo Air System Test Kit. The digital, digital borescope. Bore I have a bunch of these coming out, guys. I have went down the rabbit hole of video scopes. And some of you might not like, some of you might not be interested in it, but I'll tell you what, these are one of these tools that I definitely recommend getting. And the ones that I got are definitely awesome tools. So as long as they hold up, but the, uh, that's an Altel, which is a nice one too, but it's $3.99. And they're a pretty competitive market. Cornwell Toolboxes. Not a fan that they took the prices out and put in a monthly payment or weekly payment on them. I think that's kind of, um, I don't want to pay a weekly payment if I'm going to spend that money on a toolbox. We've got their new series of toolboxes. Uh, I believe these are, so they have the Elite Series is now what they call them. The 29-inch cabinet, 29 inches wide, 20 inches deep. Pretty affordable. It says a $20 a week payment. Um, and you get your choice of colors. We have some electrical stuff in here. This is pretty standard. They have this in here all the time. I'm not going to talk about that. We have our featured whoop, featured multimeter for $99. Always a nice uh, option. Jump packs, battery voltage analyzer. Somebody was just asking me about a master terminal set. I often looked at these, and some of them I think are overkill for as much money. Uh, I think the snap-on kit was a little bit cheaper, but it doesn't have a lot in there. Um, Lau used to have a good one too, but I think they stopped selling it. Reblade bypass kits from IP. IPA is awesome. Ignition coil tester, definitely awesome. Worth getting. $22.99. It's one of those tools that's just quick and dirty if you need to check a coil. In fact, I used mine the other day on coil packs. Found out there was four dead coil packs on an engine. And it was so nice to just grab that because I thought I could hear it running bad. And obviously I was right. Um... Universal compression tester, $99.99. Uh, harmonic balancer pullers, these are all tools that are nice to have. That's a private brand uh, to seal tool kit for $149.99. Uh, dual gauge cylinder leak down tester, $134. These are all great tools, and they're all, all the ones that say GSI are pretty sure USA made too. Um, we have the AST Asamacher disconnect line set. I prefer the Lyle one. In fact, Lyle, just a little tidbit, Lyle's got a new one coming out, so... Uh, if you guys are in the market for one of those, just hold your horses because Lyle's got something coming that you're going to like. <laughs> uh, we got some manifold gauge sets, coolant pressure tester, heavy duty coolant pressure set de tester. Yeah, I did a video, video on this. I really like the Master Cool version the best because it has all the adapters. Oil filter pliers, I love those. Uh, eight gallon Lyle oil drain, 214. Axle socket set. We have the uh, CTA. Four piece oil wrench set, $67.95. Adjustable uh, wrench from Vim, $51.95. Uh, we have some bushing drivers, the ex fluid extractors. These are handy too uh, for $36.95 and $69.95. That 1.5 liter is a big dog. And that little one's kind of nice for a seven ounce one if you got to do quick injections on something. Just a little bit to add to the rear end. Eight piece wheel stead. Uh, pin sets for $79.95. Those are handy too if you work on BM, v, VWs and Audis a lot. Uh, front wheel drive bushing bearing adapter. If you do a lot of front wheel drive bearings, you're definitely going to be wanting to those. U joint pullers. Um, are these Tiger tools? They might not. No, those aren't Tigers, are they? They might not be. Uh, LS. Those are Lyles, maybe. 
That's why it's called L. That's why it's LS. Duh, CP. You know better than this. Those are Lyle. Uh, but you joint pullers. Uh, we have a jack set. Uh, the killer tools mini uh, mini squaring tram. Um, Dennis Rigger educated me on one of those one time. We got the digital tram. We've got the combination brake tools and the dual piston spreaders from Lyle, sixty-seven ninety-five, one fifty-six ninety-five. The brake lining gauge set. If you don't have one of those, you better have one of those. Definitely worth having because you can verify quick and easy if you need pad replacement or not. Sometimes eyeballing them might be just a little bit out. Uh, Three-piece flexible block assortment. Are those like the Dura blocks? Those better. Twenty-four ninety-five. That seems like a pretty decent price for blocks. I need to get a set of blocks. I'm gonna be doing some sand in here soon. Uh, we got a panel tree, three ninety-nine, and we've got a hustler stick. You guys know the hustler stick. I've actually used that before. That thing's a that thing's a beast. Retainer clip release tool. Uh, extended clip. These are stack products here, and I got to tell you, this uh, extended clip re release tool. I have one of these coming, and I'll be honest with you, that is actually a really handy tool for $44.95. If you guys do a lot of door panels and whatnot, you can get inside that door panel and pop it off. And I didn't know about that until my buddy at the body shop was showing me. But this is all Steck products, and Steck makes awesome stuff. They've been around forever. In fact, I started, I found Steck from right here, the Big Easy with Glow Stick. Love this tool for $74.95. Everybody should have one of these. Uh, not, it's, it's a great tool for getting into a car quick. Uh, we have some Cornwell Tools Beach Towels, $29.95. The Power Probe Soldering Kit for $72.95. Cornwell Forged Shirt, $20.95, but it's not in skinny guy sizes. Wheel Balancer, 1,500-pound under hoist stand. We got some welding stuff here, some helmets. We got some Miller John Force Variable Shade. It's brand new, $209. Um, the American Flag Miller for $294. And the variable shade industrial welding helmet for 164. Flux core welder, 120 volt, 449. Not bad stuff. Not bad prices here. 523 for this whole welding kit with cart. Damn. Oh no. What? Oh, save 523. 1384 for that whole kit right there. And you get a 180 volt. I'm sure that's a um, Hobart welder. We got some offset wrenches here, 149 95 139.95 for some other offsets here. Seven piece, uh, universal three H drive uh, power sockets. I highly recommend the Cornwall ones though if you're going to get those universals, guys. Anything, any of these sockets with a collar, I do not like because they tend to. I have had times where the Sun X or Gray Pneumatics, any of those, if you get a point where it burrs up on that collar, it just gives an edge there, and I don't like them. I just don't like them. It's not spend the money get the good ones. That's just my opinion. I've had so much better luck once I changed out all my sockets. Now, I do have quarter inches, but quarter inches are not usually as high spinning. You're putting those three-eighths and half inches on impacts, and sometimes they get to zinging. And if they nick something, then it'll pull that collar up and get a burr in it. Now, you could warranty it out, but if you're in a pinch and you need to use it, you're going to have to suffer, and you could cut yourself. That's all I'm saying, okay? Uh, three piece hunter tooth blue power set one twenty nine ninety five, and then the long piece set for one fifty nine ninety five. We have a four piece universal dry power, blue power universal spark plug extension set one twenty four ninety five. I like that blue anodized on that. Uh, Thirty two piece half inch drive power socket set two ninety nine, and that is the video, guys. We wrapped that up in just under. 14 minutes so i appreciate it if you made it this far remember like comment share subscribe don't forget to hashtag cornwell usa let them know in the comment box let's ring it out for them say we want to see cornwell usa stuff in the flyers from now on i mean it's just nice to see some deals and just see some of their good tools that they make in-house so appreciate you guys watching remember like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching